in the club. Welcome back to the Love Lab. Today on Calabama Cooking, we're making crab dip. This is one of those appetizers or dinners that you can make pretty quickly, and it's always a winner. Come on in the kitchen, guys. Let's cook. All right, family, let's get into this crab dip. Now, it looks like there's a whole lot of ingredients here, but it's really only a lot because I took time to put them in all these little pretty bowls, you know? The truth is, if you just took out your containers and sprinkled, you'd be fine. All right, let's get into it. Here is some uh, cream cheese at room temperature, okay? So I let this sit out for a long time, get it to room temperature, that's what I want. Now, to that, we're gonna start adding things here. Now, I'm gonna add some onions. I've got green onions, and where's my thing here? I've got green onions and white onions, okay? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Onions, yes, we're gonna put it in the oven. Don't worry, they're not gonna be raw, baby. Now I put more there because if you want more onions, get you more onions, okay? I'm not gonna be mad, I'm not. I hope your family's not mad. <laughs> okay, folding these onions in a little bit like that, okay? Cream cheese is the base of all good dips. All right, now we're gonna to add to that some mozzarella cheese, okay? And some cheddar cheese, yes, yes. We're gonna put a little mozzarella in there. Felt like the cheddar got a little more love than the mozzarella. Here we go, all right, see this? Folding this in again, just like so. All right, now we're gonna to add to this. I'm just telling you as we go along, so I'm telling you all you need to do is go in the refrigerator or the pantry, put all the stuff out and you will be good to go. I'm gonna put a little bit of mayo in here, not much, okay, not much. Just about a tablespoon, that's just gonna help. Sorry, double sorry. That's just gonna help loosen it up a little bit, okay? All right. Yeah, you don't need much mayo. You don't. Nah, just a little. All right. Now we're gonna add to this also some herbs and some seasoning. Here we've got some garlic powder. And again, I'm not measuring. I'm putting them in until I hear the voice of my ancestors telling me to stop. Better known as when it look right, I'm through. This is chili powder, because I love chili powder. This is some oregano and parsley. I think I'm gonna actually put the oregano in like that and put more of the parsley in, because parsley, I really like parsley. It doesn't have a strong flavor, but you can tell when you haven't put it in something. You know what I mean? All right, put that. I'm putting the crab in last, in case you hadn't noticed, because crab meat, number one, ain't cheap. Right, amen? So you wanna make sure that you're really tasting crab. I'm gonna go ahead and put a squeeze of lemon juice in here. So I've got a half of a lemon. And this, oh yeah. Oh, oh it smells so good. I love the way fresh lemon juice smells. Oh yeah, squeeze it real good, there we go. All right, stirring. See, it gets even easier to stir. Okay. And I'm gonna put in there a little bit. Oh, wait, I forgot my others. Got some garlic, minced garlic. <laughs> There's so many goodies in here. Y'all, do we need some more onions in there? Nah, my kids will get mad if I put you in there. Nani. And then I'll be like, maybe sorry, baby. <laughs> oh, look at that. And here we have a little hit of cayenne because it needs to have a little bits of heat. Okay. Not that, that's not too much. It's not, it's not bad. Okay, see how I'm stirring this up? Now we're gonna add one more little secret ingredient of mine, and that is a little splash of white wine. You don't have to do this, but I find just a little splash of dry white wine just, just right. All right, let me see, I'm gonna to switch to this spoon. I think it'll be easier to mix now. Now the crab meat that I've bought, I got real jumbo crab meat, okay? See that? Oh yeah, hold on. I get back to the crab meat in a second, y'all. Look at that. <laughs> oh man, that's right. I'm gonna give it a little taste because everything in it is done. Oh, that's good. Oh, those cheeses. See a little salt in there? Oh my God, that was good. Okay, I'm gonna season it up a little bit more though. A little cracker pepper. And some more of these little herbs. Right there, okay. A little bit. I'm just going back, giving everything a little bit more. I heard the ancestors say more, 
Mix that a little more. A little more garlic powder. All right. There we go. Oh, crazy. And one more get in this little white wine. It's another tablespoon. There we go. See, we just put two tablespoons ish in there. Ooh. Yes. Oh, that smells so good. And that fresh lemon, fresh lemon in here is everything. Some people like to add mustard to this. I'm not a huge mustard fan, but you know what? If you have some Dijon or even like a Creole mustard or something, that would probably be awesome. All right, let me give this one more taste. Oh, that's right. Okay, last but not least, we're gonna add this crab meat. And I've got jumbo. See this? You want this big crab meat. Don't get that filler or that little stuff. That's gonna make you mad, because it's not cheap. Now, I put it in here last because I don't want it to break up. You know what I mean? It's gonna break up a little bit anyway, so if you put it in last, you have less time for it to come apart. And I'm just gently folding this over. See, y'all switched instruments so I can show y'all the fold over technique. All right, the fold over, it's kinda like a cake. Go under, push it over. Under, over. Under, over, all right? I have rinsed this crab meat so it's nice and clean. Technically, it's already done. But you know what, you should put it in the oven just so that everything can come together and form a relationship. I've got my cast iron here today. You can put it in anything. I just like cast iron. It also is a beautiful setup for a party if you're looking for a dish. Look at that. It's really nice to put things out in cast iron. You can also put them in, like I have little cast irons. You can put them in with small cast irons as well. Oh my God, this is so good. <laughs> this looks so good. <laughs> I'm giddy. Now you see how I'm just kind of going in? Just spreading it out so it gets all in the dish. Look at that. Y'all know that look good. Don't even lie and say it don't. Cause you know it do. Oh. There we go, smooth that down. We're gonna put this in a 350 degree oven for about 20, 25 minutes. You want it to get nice and bubbly. See them pieces of crab? That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna get every last drop. Here we go. All right, and on the very top, a little bit more cheese, just for good measure. That's that cheddar and the mozzarella, like so. And then I'm gonna hit the top with this last little bit of cayenne, just for a look. You can put hot sauce in here too if you want to. Boom! All right, into the oven at 350. She goes about 20, 25 minutes, so she's nice and bubbly. And then we'll take her out and we will devour her. Well, family, look at this delicious crab dip that came out of the oven. It's beautiful. I cannot wait. I cut some bread up, just anticipating. And look, oh my God, look y'all, look, 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 look. You see that big old piece of crab meat right there? That's what we were going for. Remember I told y'all we didn't want no little pieces. We wanted that big joker. <laughs> there she is. Hello, baby. Hey, girl. How you doing? But you'll find stuff. She's thick and she pretty. <laughs> oh, she hot too. <laughs> okay, I'm take one for the team, fam. Mmm. Really good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me eat this dinner. You can serve some vegetables with it too and dip with vegetables, whatever. I'm gonna dip with bread and crackers and any other carbohydrate I can find. Mm. This is so good, I just, I wanna test five. <laughs> Thanks for joining me fam. I'll see you guys next time right here back in the Love Lab for more Calabama cooking with me, Chef Lorius. Happy cooking. <laughs>